why SEC coaches believe the conference might as well be the AFC East. The decade-long chase to catch Alabama has caused patience to wear thin across the rest of the SEC. Knoxville, Tennessee, AP, the decade-long chase to catch Alabama has caused patience to wear thin across the rest of the Southeastern Conference. As Nick Saban and Alabama chase their sixth national title in ten seasons, five of the six other 13 programs have new coaches. It represents the league's highest turnover since 1946, when the SEC had six new coaches. Ad choice advertising and red invented by Teeds The new faces this year include Texas A. Mississippi's Matt Luke was an interim coach last year but was hired on a permanent basis after the season. Advertisement I don't think there's one reason for the turnover, George Athletic Director Greg McGarrity said. It's just a wide range of things. I think the competitiveness in this conference with the records and success we've had, certainly others want to experience that same success, SEC Network analyst Gene Chizik believes there is one, Alabama's supremacy. Rivals look at the Crimson Tide's success and wonder why they can't put together a similar run. Look at all the teams out there that think they should be, not beat, but be like, Alabama, said Chizik, the coach of Auburn's 2010 national championship team. Hey. I think that obviously the expectations have grown with salaries of coaches, and Alabama being the standard in the league has definitely put pressure on everybody to win. The flurry of SEC coaching changes continues a trend. Only four of the league's 14 coaches, Saban, Zauburn's Gus Malzahn, Vanderbilt's Derek Mason and Kentucky's Mark Stoops, have more than two full seasons of experience in their current positions. The only league that has undergone more coaching turnover during that span is the American Athletic Conference. The difference is that most of the American coaches left voluntarily to take higher-profile jobs. Virtually all the SEC coaching changes have been firings, the exception coming when Florida hired Mullen away from Mississippi State. Advertisement SEC coaches understand the competitive nature of the league and how it can impact job security. The conference is what it is, Stoop said. Might as well be the AFC East, Fisher has the most security of the new coaches, as Texas A. Most coaches don't have that kind of leverage and must realize the risks that come with coaching in the SEC. People have set a very high standard in this league and have committed resources to being successful, Tennessee Athletic Director Philip Fulmer said. When you're not, you try something else. Lately, nobody has set a higher standard than Alabama. At this point in time, Alabama is the gold standard, Ole Miss Athletic Director Ross Bjork said. Florida was the gold standard a few years back. Tennessee won a national championship 20 years ago. Things are going to go in cycles. Alabama's cycle has lasted longer than most, but I think you make your decisions for what you need, not just because one program has this or that. Some schools have tried to replicate Saban's success by hiring one of his former assistants. Pruitt and George's Kirby Smart are former Alabama defensive coordinators. Fisher and South Carolina's Will Muschamp were assistants on Saban's LSU staffs in the early 2000s, with Muschamp also following Saban to the NFL's Miami Dolphins in 2005. Georges fared the best with a former Saban assistant. The Bulldogs won the SEC title last season before losing the national championship game in overtime to Alabama. Advertisement The Saban coaching tree hasn't been as fruitful for other SEC rivals. Florida dismissed Muschamp in 2014 and replaced him with former Alabama offensive coordinator Jim McElwain, who lost his job last year. Pruitt marks Tennessee's second try with a former Saban assistant, Derek Dooley was fired in 2012. All the recent upheaval in the coaching ranks has created an unusual dynamic in the SEC, with no coach clearly on the hot seat as the season opens. Chizik says it's unlikely to stay that way for long. Chizik was fired at Auburn just two years after his national championship season. Here's the bottom line, Chizik said. 
As we kick off in early September, in this league I would say there are very few SEC coaches or none who are probably on the hot seat. That can absolutely change by the end of October. By Tabula, by Tabula, sponsored links, sponsored links, promoted links, promoted links. You may like Stanford American International School. How overseas school trips benefit your child? Stanford American International School in Oyana Komodo. Resort of view to die for, one of the reasons to visit Labuan Bajo Ayana Komodo Resort and go enjoy compare this is the last VPN you are going to need, and it's on sale. Enjoy compare and Robert Half job hunting. We can help Robert Half and Oh Hip Van we bet you can't spend more than $10,000 on furnishing your home Hip Van and Oh Babel say hello to the app which gets you speaking a new language in just 3 weeks Babelundo.